In this video, I'm going to briefly explain what happens after you've reviewed your settlement agreement and approved it online. Firstly, your attorney needs to review your settlement agreement to make sure that it's legally correct. And if your attorney has any concerns or specific points that needs discussion or clarification, he will contact you via email or telephonically. As soon as your attorney approves the settlement agreement, you will receive an SMS informing you and you will also receive an email with the final settlement agreement attached. A hard copy of the settlement agreement must be printed and signed in the presence of an attorney, which you'll have to do at our offices in Robin Hills in Randburg or at the office of an attorney that we will appoint should you not reside in Gauteng. After the agreement is signed, your attorney will make sure that we apply for a summons at the court, which will subsequently be served on the defendant. As soon as the summons is issued by the court, you will again receive a notification via email and SMS. As soon as the summons is served on the defendant, your attorney will obtain the date of service from the sheriff, after which the matter will be enrolled at court. As soon as the sheriff serves the summons on the defendant, you will once again receive a notification informing you as such, as well as an SMS. After that, your attorney will enroll the matter at court to obtain a court date for the matter to be heard. You will receive an email confirming the initial court date. Please let us know whether the date is suitable by clicking on the link in the email and following the instructions. As soon as you access the workflow details page, you will have two options. The first would be to accept the proposed court date or to request a new court date. So let's assume in this case you are unable to attend court on the suggested date. What you'll have to do is complete a note here. And click on the request new button. Your attorney will obtain a new court date and update the system accordingly. As soon as that happens, you will once again receive an email with the appropriate information. Please make sure you go back into the system and let us know whether the new suggested date is suitable. You will follow the exact same process as previously by clicking on the link in the email, logging into the system if required and completing the form. After the court appearance, if your divorce is granted, your attorney will receive a final court order, which can then be collected at our offices. You can also arrange for the court order to be delivered to you via courier for a small fee. And I will explain that process in the next video.